Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to multiply these two given matrices with different dimensions. To get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And now in the very first step, we are going to focus on the dimension of these two matrices. Let's look at the blue matrix on the left hand side. This has three rows and two columns. No wonder we're going to call it three by two. And let's look at this right hand side red matrix. It has two rows and three columns. And no wonder we call it two by three matrix. Before we multiply these matrices, we are going to check matrix multiplication compatibility. In other words, our question is, can we multiply these two matrices? To check that one, let's focus on these interior numbers, the inside numbers 2 and 2. As long as these numbers are same, then yes, we can multiply these two given matrices. If these numbers are different, we can't. And in this next step, we want to find out the dimension of our answer matrix. In other words, we want to see what the dimension or the resultant matrix is going to look like. For that one, let's focus on the exterior numbers, the numbers outside. Let's pair them up. Let's look at these ones. This is going to be 3 by 3. That means our resultant matrix is going to have 3 rows and 3 columns. And here is the road map of our answer matrix. In other words, our matrix is going to look like this one that has 3 rows and 3 columns as you can see. So now I'm going to show you how we're going to fill out these empty slots. So let's get started with the blue matrix on the left hand side. Let's look at these, this very first column on this one. This blue column is going to go right in this slot. The next column, this blue column is going to go into this slot. So now let me show you how I'm going to fill out these one. So let's go ahead and fill out this one. So that is going to become simply negative 4, 8, negative 3, and right up here is going to be negative 7, 1, 0. And we're going to repeat this same process for these two columns as well to fill out these slots. And here I have nicely filled out these blue numbers in all these three columns as you can see. Let's focus on the right hand side matrix, the red matrix. Let's look at this column over here, negative 3, 0. We want to make it, this column as a row, we're going to write it as negative 3 right up here and 0 over here. Likewise, the next column over here, 5, 7, I am going to make it a row and I'm going to put it down 5, 7. And finally, this column 8, negative 4, I'm going to make it a row as well. I'm going to put 8 right up here and negative 4 over here. And now you can see that this one over here, negative 3, is going to get filled out, filtered in over here. This is going to get filtered in likewise. So let me show you how what that means. So that means this is going to become negative 3, negative 3, negative 3 all the way. This is going to be 0, 0, 0 all the way. And here all 5 is going to get filtered in, 7 is going to go right up here, 8 is going to go over here, and negative 4 is going to go over here. 
and here is our final product as you can see after filling out all these blue and red numbers in our next step we are going to multiply these parentheses negative 4 times negative 3 is going to become positive 12 negative 7 times 0 is 0 we're gonna multiply across the board all these numbers and here I have nicely multiplied out these numbers negative 4 times negative 3 turns out to be 12 and I put it in a single parenthesis next one negative 7 times 0 is 0 I just put it in a single parenthesis and I did the same thing across the board and here's the matrix that looks after removing these parentheses this is the first one is 12 plus 0 the next one over here I just removed the parentheses simply become negative 20 negative 49 and so on and pretty much we are done now we're gonna just simplify we're gonna add these numbers in this matrix let's take care of that thing 12 plus 0 is going to be 12 the next one is going to be negative 69 the next one is going to be negative 4 the next one is going to be negative 24 47 69 negative 15 and negative 24 and that is our answer matrix so thus this turns out to be our answer matrix which has three rows and three columns and finally here is your assignment can you do this problem on your own you can take your time Luckily, I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.